for your time today. Thank um, you. The first movie was such a massive success, and you must have known it was going to be successful, but did it take you by surprise in just how successful it was? Yes. It was a big, happy surprise for all of us. All of us uh, who worked on the film, we would email each other almost each day as uh, box office results kept coming in going, can you believe this? Um, which we kind of couldn't. And each territory, you know, did well in America, uh, but it did phenomenally well in the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. So we were, we were a bit shocked. Yeah, and you've done so many roles now, and people know you from screen because they get to see you, but you, your main work is in voice work. Yeah. How, how do you sort of find that balance between the two? Which do you prefer? I'm grateful to do both. I love to do both. I'd be sad if I had to stop doing one or the other. And the voiceover stuff is usually a, a light commitment, you know. Simpsons, I'm just there a few hours a week, and I can do it from anywhere. If I'm not in Los Angeles, I, I've recorded from literally all over the world, shooting this, whatever. So it's, it's easy in that way. Yeah, and I guess it's not so quite so time consuming in that way as well. No, I just need an hour or two to record a given episode. Yeah. How do you find the voices? How do you create these new, these new personas? I've always been able to mimic almost anyone I heard. And by the time I was, you know, 22, when I first started doing The Simpsons, I had had a lot of character voices ready, you know, and, uh, and then really on The Simpsons, there, there was an outlet for that. Like each week they'd say, can you do an Indian accent? Can you do this? Can you do that? And I'm like, sure. And then, you know, voices that just kind of existed, uh, I would use in the show. It was really kind of a perfect uh, place for me to go. Yeah, great. And do you remember them all? Like, do you need, do you need prompting from like? I do. Like, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll say, can we do, you know, they'll do the voice of this guy, what we did seven years ago. I'm like, can you play it for me? Because I have no idea what I did. And then as soon as they play it, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that. So how did you find the voice for Gargamel in these movies? Um, well, interestingly enough, uh, I've done so many voices on The Simpsons that there, I did a very similar voice in year one or two in like the first or second Halloween episode. There was Homer got a monkey's paw, remember, and he made wishes on it and he bought it from like this Middle Eastern uh, dealer who talked like this. And that to me was kind of a generic evil voice from cartoons in the 70s and 80s that I heard a lot in America. Mm. And that felt like the right voice to me. And eventually he got, Gargamel got a little raspier than that. Probably because it hurts my voice to do it so much that it eventually becomes like this. And that was it. Yeah, I couldn't believe it, looking at the, fe the feature yesterday, how much new technology's moved, uh, moved on from the last film and now yeah. to this. What was it like working with all of that? It's amazing. I mean, you know, when you're on the set, you see nothing of the end product. Um, it's just these very specific things they need to do to make the animation happen. Most notably a thing called a spheron, where you'll finish a scene and then they will do a 360 um, recording digital. Basically the computer records what the lighting in the room is. So, um, and the more lights and the bigger you are, the, the longer it takes. Sometimes we'll wait like 10 minutes for the spheron machine to finish. But then once that's in the computer, then when you put a Smurf in here with me, he's lit, you just hit a button and he's lit perfectly because that's how the way the room was actually lit at the time. It's quite an amazing thing. They used to have to step by step make those lighting elements in the computer. Yeah, thanks so much for your time today. And sure. I look forward to seeing the movie. Thank yeah, you very much. You too. Okay.